Okay, so we've recycled the hay and we've brought it out to the donkeys and the horses. We, we, we did that through each stall. So now I'm at a point where I want to continue prepping, prepping for shifter. By the way, this stall is not getting shifted. This is Gloria's stall and almost doesn't get shifted as a general rule. Sometimes it does, but not usually. But I do want to get all this hay out of here because it's kind of on the eh level and I don't think she's going to eat this mixed in with all this stuff. So how do I get that out? Um, shifter or not, I want to get this out of here. I use my finger hay rake. So we're doing the hay plate now. This is the hay plate. The hay plate is where they put their heads down to eat hay. That's that weird term that I came up with. Um, anyway, I'm going to gather all this up. I don't want to take bedding with it because the bedding is is uh, kind of gold currency the same way the hay is. But if I use this very, I'm using my opposite hand even to show you how easy it really can be, but very little weight on the rake. So all this towards the door. I'm going to turn it over here. Just a couple of the fingers on the end will be enough to pull. See how beautifully that just pulls the hay right off the bedding? This is torture to do with the fork, I think. I don't know. Maybe you all like it, but this is one way I can do this quickly. And then I will come in and dress it up with a fork. Gosh, I almost want to try and save some of that. Doesn't it look like now it's in a big pile? Doesn't it look like some of this is still saveable, right? No, there's a lot of bedding there. Okay. I don't really want to put a pile of bedding in their hay bag because a horse like Siri will smell that and then not want to eat it. However, this I will put things down here. You don't have to follow me. Just get it out of there because I don't want to throw it away. Okay. This, though, is pretty mixed with dust and junk. So out it goes. You can also use this to, to pan tubs if you need to, to put the cooking spray in the bottom of the tub, which also can just toss it. I'll get into the bed. I pushed it into the bed. That's okay. I'll just bring it right back. Like that. And then this is fairly easy to do it. Again, it's hay. It's just hay. Okay, so the last step before I finish up the stall, I'm going to show it really quickly. Well, I'll tell you what, I've already done it in another video. So the reason I sweep the hay plate, not with a pea broom, please, is because this is dust. And what I'd like to avoid is when they put their faces and their little noses down here to eat their hay, if you don't get this out, if days and days it builds up, that's a lot of dust that they're breathing in their lungs. It's a fine dust. That's why I tell people when you're fluffing the hay in the stall, Wear a mask. Maybe not for COVID, but wear a mask for the hay dust. Anyway, if you get this out, now you can, now you can put your heads on it. Okay, I also want to pull the bedding back. I don't want to sweep the bedding. Now it's very easy if you just want to take this fork along here and get the front edge of what I just pulled back. That's saving the bedding. I showed how to sweep out the hay plate with a hay plate broom. So at this point, that's what I would do. I would come in here, I would recognize that that's all dust and that's bedding, and I just want to sweep that out the door so that they're not eating the dust and there's a fresh floor to eat on. All right, here we go. Stalls, part, whatever. We're getting ready to ship. This is Molly's stall. I have gotten up most of that junk I told you. I used the finger rake to pull everything from the corners and out. Now is a good time to sweep the hay plate. What's the hay plate? It's the strip along the front of the stall where they put their faces down to eat hay. And they do put hay on the ground. So they eat from there. They put their noses right here to eat. So that's why no pea broom on the hay plate. And I don't even really want those black aisle brooms on the hay plate. Because again, where do those brooms go? I don't know. This is pretty much used. All of your bed stall equipment is in the bedding stall. So these hay, hay brooms, it even says stall hay plate. These are used to clean out the dust. I'm not trying to sweep out bedding. I'm trying to sweep out hay dust, which when you fill the bags, you'll realize there's hay dust. So how I do it is I kind of start either end. It doesn't matter. This is kind of corroded gross. Molly often, well, I pulled it back with the rake. She often kicks bedding almost all the way out her door. I don't want to sweep that out. 
but I did that already. I used the rake. I used the finger rake too. I used this puppy to pull all of her bedding that was by her door back so that what's left is the shards and the ick that I want out, that I don't want her face in. So, all I'm going to do right now is just make a little line, okay? It's all kind of gross, so I'm going to try and just go to where I see the bedding is still bedding. That's still bedding. And a piece of food. Okay. I'm going to just keep that back. Now, what's left is mostly dust. As I sweep it, you'll see, I want all this out because each day it starts to pile up. Now, if you have to cut a corner, this is a corner you can cut. If you have to cut a corner because you're pressed for time, don't sweep any of this, just leave it. Ick. But then the next day, it really needs to be done. Because it does pile up, and they're, they, they are eating off of here, and therefore breathing all this dust in. See how as I get closer to the door, also Molly dribbles her. Well, I've turned the room sideways like this, if it's ever a wet spot like that, because it does get slippery. And we can get that up, it'll dry. Okay, so we're moving towards the door. Now, if you look at this pile, there is some bedding, granted, but it's like dust bedding. It's dusty. It's mostly the hay shards and all the hay dust, and that's really what I'm trying to get rid of. I'm not trying to do good housekeeping, and I don't really want to sweep any bed out, but I do want this junk out. It becomes part of the aisle to sweep later. But that way, when she has hay come out of her bag tonight, It'll be on at least a clean dust-free floor, or dust-ish-free floor. 